Hey Cowboys Nation, welcome back to Cowboys News TV. Today, we're diving into a major move that just went down at the NFL trade deadline. The Dallas Cowboys have decided to make a bold play for Jonathan Mingo, wide receiver from the Carolina Panthers. Now, this move might catch a few fans by surprise, especially considering the investment. So let's break down why the Cowboys saw something in this young player that's worth the risk. If you're as passionate about our team as we are, take a second to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Your support means a lot to us. Let's grow this community and aim for our goal of 12,000 subscribers. And here's a quick question to kick off the conversation. What's your initial reaction to the Mingo trade? Drop a word in the comments. Are you excited, skeptical, or somewhere in between? All right, so let's dive deeper into the specifics of this trade and what it means for the Cowboys. In exchange for Jonathan Mingo, Dallas sent Carolina a fourth round pick while receiving a seventh round pick in return. Now, while the Cowboys clearly see potential in Mingo, it's that fourth round pick that's raised eyebrows among fans and analysts alike. Think about it, Mingo was a high draft pick with athletic upside, but his performance with the Panthers has been underwhelming so far. For Dallas, flipping a fourth round pick for a receiver who hasn't yet hit his stride feels like a gamble, and some fans might be wondering if this was an overpay. This trade will likely spark conversations about the team's strategy at the deadline. Did we get good value, or was this a risky reach? And here's where you come in. Head to the comments and let us know. Do you think this trade was a smart move? Would you grade it as an A, B, C, D, or F? Remember, if you're enjoying this breakdown, take a second to subscribe and join the Cowboys Nation here on Cowboys News TV. Every subscriber helps us get closer to our goal, and we appreciate each and every one of you tuning in today. Now, let's take a closer look at Jonathan Mingo's journey in the NFL up until now. Mingo entered the league as a promising second-round pick, known for his athletic build and speed. But so far, his stats have fallen short of expectations last season. He logged 43 catches for 418 yards with zero touchdowns. And this season, he's only managed 12 catches and, again, no touchdowns. Not the production you'd hope to see from a top draft pick. Despite these numbers, Mingo does bring size and speed that the Cowboys might feel is missing from their receiving cores. Standing at 6 feet 2 inches and weighing in at 220 pounds, he has the physical traits of a classic X receiver, adding a dynamic we don't quite have on the roster right now. So what do you all think? Is Mingo just waiting for the right system to unlock his potential, or are his struggles a sign of what's to come? Let us know in the comments do you think he's ready to turn things around in Dallas? And remember, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up with all things Cowboys. Alright, so we've looked at Mingo's stats and his profile, but let's talk about what the Cowboys see in him and what he'll need to overcome. Dally seems to believe that, despite Mingo's rocky start in Carolina, he has untapped potential. His physical advantages, his size and speed make him a unique asset, especially since Dallas doesn't have many receivers who fit. The ex-receiver profile, in theory, he could add a new layer to the Cowboys' offense, stretching the field and creating opportunities for other playmakers. However, Mingo faces some big challenges ahead. His NFL career so far has been marked by dropped passes and missed opportunities. He's also struggled with consistency, a critical skill when you're aiming to become a key target in a competitive offense like Dallas. To make a real impact, he'll need to refine his technique, reduce those dropped balls, and show he can be reliable in clutch moments. So here's a poll question for you. Do you think Mingo has what it takes to become a consistent weapon for the Cowboys? Vote below in the comments with a yes or no, and don't forget to subscribe to Cowboys News TV and hit the notification bell. We're here breaking down all the latest moves and news, and your support helps us bring you the inside scoop on America's team. So, let's get into the real debate. Was this trade worth the price?
Dallas gave up a fourth round pick for Jonathan Mingawa cost that some fans feel is steep, especially for a player with limited production so far. In fact, when you look at other trades around the league, this exchange stands out. The Cowboys' investment in Mingo could be seen as an overpay, particularly considering some other teams made similar moves for lower prices. Of course, it's possible Dallas believes that Mingo's upside is worth that fourth round pick, and maybe they see qualities in him that other teams have overlooked. But still, this kind of deal has a lot of fans asking, is Dallas overvaluing Mingo's potential or did they spot a diamond in the rough? So let us know do you think the Cowboys made a wise investment or did they overpay? And as always, if you're enjoying our content, consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell. We're breaking down the Cowboys moves every week and your support helps us keep bringing you the latest insights. Now, let's put Mingo in context with the other receivers on the Cowboys roster. With his combination of size and speed, Mingo is built differently from most of the team's current receiving options. Players like C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks bring big play potential but don't quite match Mingo's physical attributes, especially as an ex-receiver. Standing tall at 6 feet 2 inches and weighing 220 pounds, Mingo could provide that physical presence, a quality that Dallas has been lacking in its receiving cores, but how does? He compares skill-wise, Mingo's track record so far puts him closer to someone like Jalen Tolbert in terms of performance, and that's part of what makes this trade a bit of a gamble. Dallas already has younger receivers who are developing, so Mingo will have to prove that he brings something new and necessary to the table. If he can overcome his past performance issues, he might just carve out a unique role here. So what do you all think? Can Mingo set himself apart from the pack, or will he face similar challenges as the other young receivers? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And hey, if you're liking this analysis, take a moment to subscribe. Every new subscriber brings us closer to our goal, and we're thrilled to have you along for the ride. With Mingo's arrival, there's potential for a new look in the Cowboys' offensive strategy. Adding a physically dominant receiver could change how defenses play against Dallas, opening up space for other key players like C.D. Lamb and Tony. Pollard, Mingo's ability to stretch the field and create mismatches could make the Cowboys attack even more unpredictable if he can deliver consistent results. Of course, that depends on whether Mingo adapts quickly and meshes well with Doc Prescott's playstyle. And with the stakes high this season, Every small improvement could have a huge impact on Dallas' chances in the postseason. What do you think? Will Mingo's presence elevate the Cowboys' offense? Or will it take more time for him to make a real difference? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe and join our Cowboys community. Your support fuels our content. One of the key factors in this trade that we haven't discussed much yet is Mingo's contract. For Dallas, this aspect might actually be the silver lining. Mingo's contract is extremely team-friendly, with low costs over the next few years. This allows Dallas to take a chance on him without straining the budget, freeing up cap space for other potential moves or future reinforcements. In today's NFL, managing the salary cap effectively can make all the difference and Mingo's affordable deal allows Dallas to invest in his development without the pressure of a massive contract. He'll have time to grow into a bigger role, and Dallas can see if he can elevate his game while paying a fraction of what a more established receiver would cost. But here's a question for you. Do you think the value of Mingo's contract offsets the risk of his limited production so far? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you're enjoying the breakdown, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's your support that keeps Cowboys News TV growing. This trade for Jonathan Mingo has sparked some conversation about the Cowboys' overall trade strategy. In recent years, Dallas has made a habit of targeting players with high upside but lower initial production, banking on their potential rather. Potential strategies moving forward then proven success. While some of these trades have paid off, 
Others have left fans questioning the team's approach at the deadline. Could this move be part of a bigger trend? It seems Dallas believes in developing raw talent into key contributors, even if it means taking on some risks. But does this strategy help or hinder the Cowboys in the long run? We'd love to hear what you think. Is this trade part of a smart long-term plan, or should Dallas be more conservative with its picks? Let us know your thoughts below, and remember, subscribing is a great way to stay up to date with all Cowboys news and discussions.